welcome to the third day in Hong Kong today. I am at Hong Kong Disney World. Uh, I'm gonna do this today, uh, take it a little bit slower. And uh, to later tonight, I'm traveling as well. So I just might as well uh, take in that the Disney is close to the airport. So I'm gonna have to spend a few hours here. Uh, being a, a bit of a Disney fan, I want to check it out. Unique opportunity. Don't know if I'll be back, at least not soon. So, might as well do this one. A little bit more about this uh, third day in Hong Kong. Uh, today, I checked out from my hotel. Uh, I left my bag, uh, suitcase, uh, at the central station, is where you take the train to the airport. Took it. Uh, it's about $15, made a stop to connect to the, um, to the uh, Disney connecting um, subway. So I believe the entrance here from what I read online is around 90 US dollars. Uh, I'm not even sure where, okay, uh, here's some signs, ticketing is to the right. something that it's a are you kidding me moment I'm gonna show you why so as you guys can see total fail they're um, refurbishing the castle um, so I I don't know what to say about that <laughs> It's a small world. I might go in if the line is good. So I didn't. I didn't go into the Star Wars because it seems like the um, Space Mountain in Orlando. Uh, due to my back, I don't want to take a chance with that one. Uh, went to the Ant Man and the Iron Man. Ant Man was so so fun, but not. Uh, not amazing in any way, more for kids, so if you have kids it will be fun, uh, it's like a laser attack and stuff. And the Iron Man is, I think they have the Star Wars, uh, in, uh, what is it, Hollywood Studios I believe, that's what it looks like, more or less. It was fun because you had um, a Hong Kong uh, city team into it, so I, I thought that was pretty cool. That was pretty different and unique. So check that out if you're here. Uh, right now, getting closer to the It's a Small World uh, attraction. Oh, the waiting line is really good. Five minutes, so I'm gonna get in to this one. I would 
rather do the tallest roller coaster or something before I do this. I, I got really, really sick that day. <laughs>
I'm going to try the Hong Kong milk tea for the first time. Let's see. I like it. I like tea and this is very good. And with this I finish off my visit to Disney. I'm gonna eat this now and head to the airport after this for my flight to my next destination. After the airport express, uh, I am at the airport now. Uh, this is where I arrived the first day. Got through those gates, bought a ticket, uh, internet at the 7-Eleven. Uh, and my bag is already checked. I'm already checked in. I have my boarding pass. I did that at the Hong Kong Central Station. Um, so I have a few hours. It's right now, let me see, 5.30. And my flight is until around 10 p.m. So I have a few hours to spare. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Airport, airport looks cool. If you're looking for something to do at the airport, you got a couple of hours. This is terminal two. You get to the second level. The check-in counters. The next level is the Aviation and Discovery Center, I think it's called. Uh, I'm gonna take a brief look. I think I have maybe an hour and a half or so to explore this place. Yeah.